Why? Somebody call 911. <laughs> There's a bit of chai. I'm so stingy, give me more la. No, it's tasting, it's for tasting. <laughs> but because my mouth big, so I take a bigger piece. No fair, no yeah. fair. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome to the episode of Eat Drink Chill Live Season 2 Food Delivery Edition. I'm your host, Tammy Chu, and today we're gonna have some delivery food and pair it with an alcoholic drink. And today I have here with me Leslie Ko, aka the Rice Cooker Man. He is a food influencer and financial consultant. Hi guys, my name is Leslie. You might know me on Instagram and Facebook as the Rice Cooker Man, where I use the common rice cooker and make creative and awesome dishes. And it's time to guess the food. And what are you doing? Wait, wait, I'm trying to find where I am now. <laughs> Thanks for putting on the blindfold. You can sure. feel this is the mystery box. I yep. need you to... Well, you... you take off clothes. What? <laughs> you can take off your blindfold. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Tell me it? what are you feeling right now? E, like slimy. Okay. Wet. It's slimy, it's wet. The texture makes me feel like it's... Fats. Is it fats? Is fats! It like pork, chicken. I mean, you need to tell me the answer before I can tell you whether it's correct or wrong. Uh, is it my youth? <laughs> it's your youth <laughs> slimy <laughs> no. and wet. Yeah, I think it, it feels like maybe it's pork. Pork? Yeah. Wrong answer. Oh, wrong answer. Oh. Yeah, I, can, I can press on it, right? Uh, sure. We're not going to eat this, right? I, I don't know whether you will feel painful or not. But... Oh, wow. That's all right. <laughs> That sounds a lot more like youth. <laughs> Maybe okay. it's like fish? Like fish meat? Um, uh, sashimi? Very close, very close. Because now I'm touching it, right? I can feel like there's texture. Mm -hmm. There's like lines. But I don't think it's meat anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just a guess uh, salmon sashimi? Awesome! <gasps> Congratulations! <laughs> And right now, we're gonna have salmon to pair it with Raiden Japanese whiskey. Well, I have to say, I compliment the bottle. <laughs> Here are dishes from Everything Salmon. This is salmon steak with teriyaki at $15. And yakiniku salmon steak priced at $15. At Everything Salmon, you can find a wide range of salmon dishes. To pair with the food, we're having Raiden Pure Moat Whiskey. Aged in Hogshead and X Old Sherry Butt Cask, in the warm subtropical climate and Pacific Ocean breeze of Okinawa, created the rich, balanced, flavoured whiskey with hints of tropical herbs. So Leslie, um, which one do you want to talk about? Actually, we should talk about the alcohol first. We need to warm up our stomach so that it opens up to expand and then we can have more food in. So what I like to do when it comes to nosing, right? I always like to do this because sometimes when you do like, like this, it too can strong. be too intense. Mm. But what I feel this is very interesting is, right, it's actually you have that sherry taste. So if you notice, I poured some of the red whiskey on my uh, hand here to let it evaporate and then once the alcohol content evaporates, you can smell the actual scent oh. that's inside. So right now, it's very obvious. The, the sherry, right? Yes! Yeah, it's, the wood smells like uh, really strong. Yeah. And it's, it's very sweet, floral, kind of uh, fruity, kind of like a uh, uh, scent to it. First, you get hit with the, the floral fragrance because of the sherry. And then, then after there's that, a really strong oaky, right? Yes. Then, based on what I read, uh, the bottle right, actually went through different stages. Uh, in terms of like when they, they are bottling the, the whiskey and they add different components right to give different flavours to it to give it a more complex finish If you notice the guy over here yeah. is a sumo wrestler his name is Raiden oh. so he's actually quite legendary you can just google him so mm. he is actually one of the best but he wasn't awarded for anything that's why he has a sad face mm. so what the story actually tells is as a person as us right you don't mm. get like super recognised when you're like you know uh, compared to your peers doesn't mean that your skills ain't as good as them This is teriyaki and this is yaki of course, teriyaki is more on the sweeter side of things in terms of sauces. Try and dip a bit more sauce 
you eat it and you do a bit of the whiskey. So you realize that this the smoke the, the sweetness uh, of the sherry, right? It's actually more obvious. A lot more obvious, more prominent, being uh, brought out at it uh, from the fish itself. So over here, the salmon mm. for teriyaki sauce, I can feel a little bit more of the garlicky mm. kind of a taste. And the yakitori is, is thicker. Mm. It's very similar taste in, in, in a way. Yep. Because they're all like a soy base, right? Correct. Soy sauce base. I think it's more about the the, the viscosity of the sauce. Mm. This is a lot lighter, this is more uh, darker. So definitely you feel more the of the umami of the soy sauce or the soy base from the yakitori itself. Mm. If I base on this, I think it was pretty good. Mm. But if I were to base on the yakitori one, I think they didn't factor in the cooking that will happen when during delivery. So maybe uh, the some, heat the made heat. it continue to cook inside your delivery. Yeah, so that's something that I feel that uh, there are certain dishes that uh, unfortunately don't do well in delivery, especially like when it comes to steak, when it comes to fish, especially like salmon. If this is the standard they are delivering, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I like this way more than this yeah, one because in terms of texture, it's right? well, it's done well but not well done. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, this is well done and well done. <laughs> I think it's a pairing that surprises me. I wouldn't mm. expect that it, it has this uh, effect on the fish. Instead of the sweetness now, the oakiness, the oakiness, the smokiness really elevates more. Mm. It's more pronounced, and um, in fact, it does give a really nice spice to the fish if you think about it. Mm. So, which one is your favorite pairing? I would actually like the smokiness one. I do like a bit of a smoke at the char. So I have to say this one, uh, ladies. Yeah. So if you think about it, right? Two sauce, same fish, different experiences. Same alcohol as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, the pairing just makes both dishes taste different. Both whiskey taste different also. Yep. Very, very interesting. Mm. Thanks for watching. And if you want to watch more, we are at Eat Drink Chill Live. Yes, do follow us on our socials. We are on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks again, Tammy, for having me here today. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, see you next video. Uh, see you next video. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> hey, actually, this one got free gift one, right? I don't, don't have. I don't have one. Then I come for what? Uh, I just drink like that only, ah. Uh. Uh, drink more lah, but the bottle keep la. I yeah. mean, I I keep, not you keep. Huh? Why why I can't keep? Thanks for watching. Like, share, and follow each drink show live for more content like this. We also have a lucky draw, so check out the captions and stand a chance to enjoy these yummy food and drinks!